Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today I have some of the new uh, 2021 Color Reveal Mermaids. These have seven surprises in them. And now I did open these a while ago so it's not really a surprise as to which ones I'm getting. And I did notice that the, um, the codes don't really matter on this series because they are just kind of randomly printed it seems uh, because I did get two purple Barbies which are these two uh, that are uh, different codes so don't try to code hunt too much if you're trying to get the merman which is the one I think we're all trying to get but I got two of her one of her and one of her I don't have these two yet just because I haven't found any more of these. Like, I have been looking everywhere, and I guess with the supply chain issue being what it is, there just is not a lot of, there are just not a lot of these around. Uh, so, I'm gonna go over these a little bit for you guys, show you all what we're, all, what we're getting in all of them, and all these spots, as well as color matching them. So I'm not gonna do color reveal stuff because it's just her bikini top. That's all we're gonna get out of that. Uh, she does have this really nice long lilac hair and she's on an ordinary Barbie skin tone. So the medium tan or the medium skin tone, which is actually a little darker than this one, surprisingly. I was gonna rebody her on to a uh, uh, Samantha doll, but I may have to rebody her onto a onto an original uh, yoga body doll. I've got to look real fast. I thought she was the same color. Uh, so either way, I think I'm gonna keep her on the Kirby doll, even if she's not a perfect match, uh, just because. I want to have something about my Kirby Barbie be a little different to where she's not just a, uh, a blonde Barbie. A uh, nice soft head. They do have some articulation. Oh, as you can hear, that's trying to break and I'm trying not to break it because I'd like to keep this body because I'll throw a regular Barbie head on it. Uh, but that is the head right there and she looks great and again here is our Barbie uh, body and then let's take a look here is her tail that goes on that clips into the bottom of that so very cute I'm not sure if that needs to be a permanent thing or not so I'm not going to throw it in there just yet um, and we have our instructions over here, which is to dunk the Barbie and get everything out of there and then unbox everything and then clip it in. And she's got her crown and her little uh, van braces. But over here, we have our uh, mermaid series. So we have a pretty good image of all of them. He is our rare one, which is very frustrating because we just don't often get merman dolls and I wish they would give us more, um, but such is life. So here is her tiara. Again, we can just clip that onto her like that. So she's got a little bit of a star motif going on, which is fun. Um, again, I'm not gonna keep her as a mermaid, so. I'm going to just get her stuff unpacked a little bit. So these are the Van Braces, and these are actually really cute to me because they're not, uh, not super detailed. Like, you could wear these as, um, as regular accessories, I think. And I think this is just a comb. Yeah, this is her, this is her comb slash sponge thing. Um, so not a whole lot comes with them. 
As far as accessories, the uh, the tail is not articulated. The top does look like it's molded though, but it does not have any. Um, it doesn't have any uh, articulation other than the arms right up here. But it does have a pretty good neck peg, which is surprising because a lot of the color reveal dolls don't have any neck articulation. So that's kind of nice to have. Again, here is the doll that I'm gonna put her on. As you can see, it's almost a perfect match and it's close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades in my opinion because I wanna do her on a curvy body because I didn't like the uh, the Samantha astronaut doll face very much. So I wanted to switch her up with a more kind of classic Barbie look. And so we have her swapped onto that. She got some legs from the Sea Witch. That's how we're playing that. Um, and then we have this one over here. Now she is really pretty. She has some curls. She's on a Latina skin tone. Um, she's got sunburst on her arms. And we are going to take her head off and put her onto another body. Again, making sure that the that the neck tries to stay intact so we can get that with a, another doll. And then we have a basic uh, blue top made to move original yoga body that I had, but she'll also fit on the, on the tall, she'll fit on the model, uh, the Barbie style number two, no, Barbie style number three. Uh, again, same articulation here on the body. And we're gonna get a couple more things out of here. And we are going to try to do these quickly. And again, same kind of comb, nothing super special about the all these accessories are basically the same. Um, so we have these, which are just a recolor in yellow, which is kind of cute. Gives me a little bit of a Wonder Woman vibe. Uh, and I think all of their tiaras are unique molds because this one is like a sunburst with like a cloud behind it. So that's kind of cool. Um, And then we have our orange tail, which is cute. But again, I'm not gonna put those in until I decide which one I'm going to grab. Uh, and then we have our third one. So this is our, uh, our Asian skin toned Barbie. She's got peace signs on her arm. She's got this really long um, oh gosh, this is somewhere between a teal and an aquamarine, I think. Uh, maybe aquamarine mixed with like baby blue. It's very pretty. I love this. I love this hair color. We don't get a ton of hair color that's this way. We get a lot of lilac. We get a lot of orange. Uh, not a ton in this color, which is nice. So... We're gonna take that. She does have just like basic straight hair with a middle part, uh, which is fine. A very soft head, that's promising. And again, always trying to work that lower ring out of the neck joint. Carefully trying to really get these uh, 
to be what we want them to be. I'm actually gonna give her a quick, quick little comb because her hair is just a little, a little messy from the first time when I unboxed her. Um, and again, same body, different arms, and I'll show you guys what they look like after I get these uh, all rebodied. I'll show you the uh, color reveal bodies. So we have a blue comb now, which is kind of cute. I'm guessing these are blue vambraces. Oh, these are actually green, so that's kind of cute. Uh, so it's a bit different from our other two, where they had a uh, kind of a solid color scheme going on. Uh, and then we have a white headband with green peace signs and white peace signs. So kind of cool, they didn't just match the one color. And then we have our fin, which is actually green. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so the green is the kind of the color for her. Uh, and then this is a regular purple made to move top. Uh, she can go on a, on a first generation curvy or, uh, or one of the new uh, Barbie looks talls also would fit. Uh, and technically I think one of the Barbie looks petites would also fit. Oh, she's fighting me going onto this neck joint. There we go. Okay. So. She may actually be a better match for the uh, Barbie looks petite, but I don't have an extra of her and I like her the way she is. So I'm going to leave her like that and I'm gonna pause for just a second and go uh, color reveal these uh, bodies for you guys. Okay, so here is the color reveal part of, the, of this Barbie. She's very pretty. The tail has a little bit of glitter, not too much, but it does have some shine to it. You can see the piece motifs thrown in there. And then the tail does just sort of snap in there like that. And you can pull it out or you can flop it around. Um, and it is two distinct fins. So very cute. Um, that's how it would look on there. If I was gonna put it on there, I'll keep these though. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the color reveal part. So we do get like a bare midriff. Um, very cute. And then here is the orange haired one. Again, the sunshine motif. We got some clouds up here on her top. Uh, a little bit of glitter thrown in there. Nothing on the back, these are just solid. Um, again, the orange is just gonna snap in there like that. So all of these tails are interchangeable if you wanted to swap them around. Uh, very cute. And then again, this is how it would look on the cuff if I was going to uh, store them with the cuffs on. And then here is our basic skin tone Barbie, or our original skin tone Barbie, I should call her. She's got stars, and as you can see, the stars on her arms uh, disappear after we heat her up. I think that's a color reveal effect, and I think there's a color reveal effect on her top as well. With cold water, the stars show up. So, kind of a cool thing. If these dolls had articulation here at the hip, and at the knees, I would consider keeping them as mermaids, uh, but they don't, so they get to have a magical glow up, and they get legs from the sea witch free of charge. Uh, so again, you can do lots of fun things with these. Uh, the arm cuffs will, of course, uh, still fit on your uh, regular doll arms and on your curvy. Um, so they can be 
a sign of their bargain with the sea witch or something. Uh, I do want to get a few more of these uh, because I think the red one is going to match the purple top as well and I might make her curvy and then the uh, the sort of rosish one over here I think she matches um, I think she matches the curvy looks Barbie so I kind of want to make her curvy as well because I've been saving a couple of curvy dolls to uh, rebody for good Barbie heads and as you can see all of these are different faces it's not the same face mold that's uh, just been repurposed and repainted like a lot of the color reveals have been but very cute and very of the moment So, like, if I were to uh, throw some heads on there, I'd probably throw this head back on there. Just because I took one off, so I should put one back on. And so that's what it looks like if you were to swap these out with, like, made-to-move heads. I have more. I'm not going to put them on right this minute, just because I don't want to dig through my box of Barbie heads. <laughs> but... They're all very cute, and I really hope I can find more in stores. The only thing that does suck about these is they retail for $18 now, and you really get, you know, the, the van braces and the tiara and a brush, and then you have the mermaid body, and that's it. Um, but I do appreciate that they are nice original face sculpts, well, they're not original face sculpts, but they are uh, individual face sculpts across these three. And there is a uh, like a nice detailing put into their hairstyles. They don't all have the same hairstyle. See, she's got a, uh, a left-handed part. This one's got a right-handed part. And this one has his middle part. And this one has curls. So, yeah. But I do love that they all have really long mermaid hair. Uh, so... It's always fun to see these mermaid dolls, and uh, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. Uh, if you have any questions about them, leave a comment, and I'll try and answer the best of my ability. And as always, follow along for more fun unboxings, because I still have a couple of things to review, because my, uh, my pile keeps building, and I need to put things away. <laughs> so, uh, y'all be good. Bye.